I keep hearing that these are the best matte lipsticks on the market at the moment. But are they really? Hey guys, I'm Rashi Himalio. So today I will be reviewing for you as well as swatching for you 10 Makeup by Mario Bullet lipsticks. So these are his newest matte lipsticks. This is the first thing I've tried from this brand. Let's jump into the swatches first so you can see how these shades look like on me. And then we'll get into a review and I'll talk you through some of the details around this formula. Now I just want to show you what the color of my lips looks like. Definitely not a flattering shade for me. So this is obviously a very light shade for me. This is not suited for my pigmented lips. I can absolutely wear this if I pair it with another lipstick. And even with a lip liner, it's a bit too light. If I pair it with another lipstick, then I can make it work. The texture is a little bit dry. And I think now you can tell that this color is actually settling into all of my lip lines. And I've just applied it. it. It hasn't even been a minute and it's already settling into all my lip lines, which is not quite flattering. So this is the shade Sierra. This is the lightest one that I've got. Rest assured, the rest of the shades will look better on me. Sierra. Let me just give you a quick review of this particular shade. The thing with this formula is it's a little bit inconsistent depending on what shade you buy. Shade Sierra is in fact, as you can see, a little bit dry. It does apply slightly creamy. However, it looks dry, which is quite weird. In terms of longevity, this shade doesn't perform very well either. It comes off quite easily and I find that I have to reapply quite a few times throughout the day. This is only very specific to this shade. So let's move on to the next one. This is one of those shades that I was a little bit disappointed with. Although the color is actually really beautiful, it's just not very pigmented. So even though I've applied quite a few layers of this lipstick, I can still see the color of my lips underneath. It doesn't fully cover them. So in terms of pigmentation, it's not very pigmented. It also gathers and moves around a little bit too much. So I think you can see an uneven application on my lips. It doesn't show my lip lines as much as the shade Sierra. It still shows my lip lines a little bit, but that's okay. A little bit disappointed. It's not quite there. I feel like the Bite Beauty formula is a bit better, especially with these lighter shades. Here's the shade Chem. Now this is the shade Brielle. This is in fact a beautiful light pink color. It's one of those shades that I wouldn't necessarily wear on its own. I would absolutely diffuse the look of it just with a bit of a brown lip liner. But it's absolutely beautiful. I think it looks great and it has a little bit more payoff than Cam. I do think the formula of this color is better than Sierra and Cam. So this is the shade Brielle. I think it's a beautiful pink with a slightly of a lilac undertone. It's really, really stunning. Shade Jessie is absolutely beautiful. I really, really love this color. This is quite close to my actual lip color and it's a little bit muted and has that mauve undertone. I think it's very flattering for my skin. In terms of the formula, this is also a better formula than Sierra or Cam. It doesn't apply very dry. And although, yes, it sinks into my lip lines, but this type of sinking, I don't mind. It looks pretty natural. I do really enjoy this color. This is the shade Jessie. Now, 
Now this is the shade Kate. It's uh, another beautiful nude. It looks a little bit similar to Jessie, but Jessie is definitely one shade darker and leans more mauve, whereas this is a little bit more pink and neutral. I really enjoy this color. I can definitely see myself wearing this to work all the time, just because the shade is so neutral. Now this is the shade Annie. This is a beautiful warm tone pink. Just absolutely beautiful and I think it works so well for my skin tone. This formula is a little bit dry but it still applies well. It's also not very pigmented. It's, the color is on the lighter side so you do need to build quite a few layers in order to get this type of opacity. So here's the shade Annie. I'm just holding my cat because she wants some attention. So this next shade is Lucia. This is a very beautiful shade as well, but it definitely has those very strong lavender undertones. In terms of formulation, this is a good shade. It didn't apply dry or uneven to my lips. I'm gonna say hi. This is Nininia. Hey Nininia. You. Oh my God, cats smell so good. Like. Mm, she smells so good, I swear to God. Anyway, here's the shade Lucia. This is the shade Fanda, very, very beautiful as well. And uh, I think a really sophisticated, sort of a, a deeper, cool tone, mauvey brown, perhaps? Very pretty. This is a shade Fanda. Oh my god, you're so cute, you're so cute! So cute, ah, oh, just cute aggression, right? Oh my god, she's adorable. Okay, 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 I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go just in a minute, in a minute. She's purring, by the way, don't worry, she's not being tortured. This is the shade Nikki. Now, on their website, I felt like with their description, I, I thought this was gonna be a terracotta shade but on my lips it looks a little bit more like an orangey coral it's a beautiful it's definitely a beautiful color what do you guys think this is shade nikki and lastly this is the shade alicia a beautiful orangey red. Now this is one of those shades that I was really looking forward to because I thought it was going to give me like maximum opacity, it was going to be very pigmented, but I'm left slightly disappointed. And that's because it's actually not very pigmented. What you see here is me going layers and layers and layers, like I've applied so much of this lipstick to get this opacity and it looks a little bit flat. Am I right? Like if you've seen my other lip swatch videos, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. There are so many shades that I've swatched that are similar to this that give me this wah wah woom payoff. Whereas here, it's a little bit subdued. It's not as bright or opaque as I would have liked, especially after applying so many layers. But this is the shade Alicia. So here's the thing guys, I was very much looking forward to these lipsticks because I have heard some great reviews about them. I've heard people say they're the best matte lipstick on the market right now. Is it though? Really? I don't think so. 
So let's talk about why I don't think so. I want to address the cons first and then we'll talk about the pros. The cons are, and there's quite a few to be honest, is that if I was you, I would skip the lighter shades. For me, the lighter shades in this collection were definitely Sierra and Cam. Those are the two shades that gave me some trouble. They weren't very pigmented. They applied very dry on the lips. They also applied really unevenly. The formula for these two specific shades were not the best. Sierra was particularly bad, probably because it was the lightest, and Cam was okay to work with. Now, for the mid-tone to the deeper shades, they were definitely much better. They didn't feel as dry as I was applying them. However, all of these lipsticks do tug and pull. They're not a very creamy formula. There is most definitely resistance when you try and apply them and you kind of have to kind of drag the bullet across the lips, which I didn't particularly like, but it's not necessarily a deal breaker, right? Like it's not that big a deal. Of course, then there is just the payoff. I find that Yes, the payoff is good, but it's not great. It's They're not very pigmented lipsticks. And I do have to build quite a bit and apply lots of layers to get that payoff. Mm, I feel like I have so many lipsticks with one swipe I can get full opacity. So for me, that's a bit of a downside with these. Again, not a huge deal breaker, but when you start putting all these cons together, then you get to understand that yes these lipsticks are good but they're not really great another thing is when i've been applying these i don't know what's wrong with the packaging but as i would pop them on all of a sudden this lip color would just slide down and it will this will happen and then you're kind of going like what just happened and you roll that back up and you apply and then it will go down and that's was a bit annoying. Now also with the lighter shades, so Cam and Sierra, as I wore them throughout the day, I got a bit of a lip line. You know when that weird white line happens right in that inner? I didn't particularly like that. So I definitely got that with those two shades. With the rest of the shades, I didn't experience the line. So I do think the formula of the lighter shades isn't really that good. Another thing is if you are someone who chronically has dry, flaky patches on your lips, do not buy this lipstick because this formula will attach itself to any little patch. And I mean, any little patch. Luckily today, while I'm filming this swatch video, I don't have any patches. Uh, my lips are freshly exfoliated, so they're actually quite smooth. However, as I've been trying this throughout this entire week, I've had dry lips and they did not look particularly flattering, especially with this clinging onto every little dry patch. So, I mean, I expect to an extent that matte lipsticks won't look as flattering on dry patchy lips. I totally get that, but I wasn't expecting this formula to just really grab onto those patches and look almost weirdly powdery. And like you almost get these, no, powder is not the right word, you almost get these little tiny clumps, tiny tiny dots of powdered clumps that get attached to every little patch and it just looks horrible. So you do suffer with dry patchy lips more often than not, this is not a formula for you. Instead I recommend you try Lisa Eldridge or Charlotte Tilbury, those are more of a forgiving matte formulation. So those were all the cons and actually there were quite a quite a few cons to be honest. Let's talk about the pros. Now the pros are they are matte lipsticks. So they do look quite matte on the lips. They also wear a really good amount of time, not the light shade. So all of these pros that I'm talking about are not about the light shades, the rest of the shades. They actually lasted a really good amount of time on my lips. I really only had to reapply after having lunch. And maybe just a little bit after breakfast. It depends what type of breakfast. If it's a little bit of an oily breakfast, yes, you're gonna have to reapply. However, if it's a bit of a dry breakfast, then you're okay. Same goes with lunch. However, with lunch, by the time you get to lunch, you know, you've already spent like four hours. And so uh, with these lippies on, so after lunch, absolutely, I would need to reapply, but I'm okay to wear them the entire day. So longevity, especially with the mid-tone to deeper shades were really good. And they were also comfortable. So I didn't find these drying at all. I've been wearing them 
eight hours a day every single day for the last week and i have not found these drying which is amazing i really love matte lipsticks that are not drying and so they wore well throughout the day i was able to reapply really well as well i didn't have any issues with reapplication they wore off evenly as well and the slightly deeper shades also left a tint behind by the end of the day most of my lip color was gone that slight tint was still there so it kind of looked like i still had some lip color on which was also really good they are good lipsticks not the lighter shades but the mid-tone to deeper shades, I think they are really good. I just don't think these are great. So I don't think that they're the type of formula that you kind of have to run out and purchase. I don't think they're better than Gucci or Lisa Eldridge or By Beauty. And if you want to try the formula, buy one. Just buy one, try it out and see what you feel. If you love the formula, you can always go back and buy some more. But if you don't like it, then at least you wouldn't have spent a lot of buy money buying multiples. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have requests for me to do swatches and reviews of other lipsticks, please let me know in the comment section below. I am very much dedicated to doing swatches on my channel because that's something I personally struggle with on YouTube, finding people with my level of lip pigmentation and my skin color and the whole ordeal. It's kind of hard to find swatches. So if there are certain brands and certain types of lipsticks that you're looking for, you haven't been able to find it, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. See ya.